This is what a luxurious cemetery looks like in Jakarta, Indonesia. It has a swimming pool, a restaurant, a lake, and even a helipad, apart from the graves, of course. San Diego Hills Memorial Park aims to give families relief from grief. But this relief comes at a cost. A grave here would put you back by at least $1,600. And a mausoleum could cost you a million dollars. But in a city where the average monthly salary is around $190, this is what most public graveyards look like. Located in the city centre, retribution for a burial spot costs $7 for three years. Jakarta's metro area is home to 30 million people. And this number is expected to grow by almost 5 million by 2020. Rapid urban expansion has left the city with less than 10% green space. This is way below what is required by law, leaving people with a graveyard to hang out, play and just breathe. Wah, cuacanya nggak ada, namanya rumah kumuh lah. Ya di sini ya, enak. Biasanya sih di sini wayangan, gundu, terus sama main bola. Seru banget, banyak temen gitu. Hampir tiap hari kayaknya saya nongkrong di sini sepulang kerja. Karena juga ya rumah juga deket di belakang ya. Mungkin lebih, lebih tenang, suasananya juga nggak serame di jalanan. But the multi-purpose use of these cemeteries has also sparked controversy. A video showing a concert at a cemetery in East Jakarta went viral in September 2018. This forced authorities to stress the restrictions on hosting similar types of events in the cemetery. In 2017, Jakarta City Administration also allocated $22.5 million to expand the city's green spaces. But the stark contrast between public and luxurious cemeteries highlights a bigger issue. Indonesia has the sixth worst inequality of wealth in the world. Indonesia's top four richest men have more wealth than 100 million of the country's poorest people. There has been significant economic growth in the past 20 years. And although the proportion of people living in extreme poverty has fallen from 40% to 8%, the benefits of growth have not been equally shared.